Hello everyone and welcome to another exciting edition of Box Rage and Bruce. Today we're opening up a box of ITG 1972 The Year in Hockey. Um, this is one of ITG's specialty products there, all about the year 1972 in hockey. This includes stuff such as the famous Summit Series stuff, as well as players that were active in the NHL at the time. There are lots of autographs in the products, nice memorabilia, memorabilia autographs, patch autos, you name it. There's also blank backs of base cards, as well as an elusive Dr. Price card that's been inserted in there. Of course, Dr. Price was the president of In The Game Hockey Cards, and currently the president of President's Choice Hockey Cards. Um, he made some cards himself using the base design from here. Some of them made it to pack out, so it's a pretty neat little extra that can potentially be found. I've opened a box of this way back when this product came out. I believe it was in 2010, 2009-10 season, if my recollection is collect. Co collect. Correct. <laughs> yeah, let's stop wasting time with talking and let's get ready for box breaking. So there are 18 packs. The design is nice, has a nice little old school vibe to it. We got Joe Watson. Wayne Cashman also has a very classic uh, old school design about it as well. Phil Meyer. Ron Ellis. Uh, one of these shootsy saves or he shoots he scores points. Back in the day, you could redeem it. Gary Cheevers, Ron Ward, Game 5, Moskva, Vladimir Petrov, and Tony Esposito, and Wayne Carlton. Of course, there's the blank backs as well to look out for. Um, after we pack, I'll take a look in the, in the back and see if we got one. In this case, we did not, so we move on to the next. If we've got a memorabilia hit or something, we will also leave it for last. Get the excitement going. Autographs are a little tougher to pick out just by looking. Tony Esposito, Cesar Maniago, Ivan Cournoyer, Roger Crozier, stupid points, Bobby Clark, Dennis Hull, Bernie Perron, and Vladislav Trichak. Alright, on to our next pack. We got Pat Stapleton, Sil Apps Jr., Guy Lefleur, Jim Schoenfeld, Norm Ferguson, Gary Bergman and Alexander Yakushev, Ab McDonald, and Ivan Kurnwaye. Next, we got Harry Howell, Bob Nystrom, Nick Libet, Butch Goring, Paul Henderson, Derek Sanderson, Dale Talon, and Serge Savard. And as I look back on the cards, the Butch Goring is actually one of the blank backs. Can't remember the serial or the numbering on them, but uh, it's an interesting parallel to look out for. Always sucks with stuff like that if someone's a player collector. A lot of people just might look at it and think it's uh, it's a base. I believe this might be an autograph. They might think, sorry, it's uh, just a base, not look at it, and then just discard it into a pile. So, yeah. Okay, got Bill Barber, Ken Hodge, Dan Bouchard. Norm Ullman, these guys, John McKenzie, Tony Esposito, Rod Seiling, and Paul Schneider. On to our next pile. Like I said, if we, we'll, we'll leave hits for last. I, I prefer to be surprised and excited, not kill them all right away. Don Ari, Noel Picard, Brian Glennie, Gump Worsley. Guy Lepointe, Gord Labossier, Vladimir Shedrin, and Bart Crashley. A lot of names you don't hear nowadays. Semi-stars and common dudes from back in the day who didn't get much hobby love. 
Brian Hextall, Gary Dornhofer, Larry Big Bird Robinson, Stan Weir, Mike Antonovich, JP Parise, Tony Esposito and Vladislav Tretchak, and Jean Claude Tremblay. I believe this one might be a memorabilia. Save that suspense to the very end. Okay. Walt McKechnie, Gilles Villemur, Rene Robert, Doug Favell, Jack Norris, funky little goalie mask he had, Paul Henderson, Vladislav Trecek, Les Binkley, and Gary Bergman. I believe this is our other autograph. Save it to the end. You can see the interesting kicks up to that point. All right, we got Terry O'Reilly, Gary Sabarin, Paul Henderson, Masked Men, Jules Villemer. Nice design. Mask always creeped me out. It's kind of unsettling compared to a lot of the other goalie masks from the time. Boris Mikhailov. And Phil Esposito, sir. Gilles Graton. Oh, oh, oh. Lost one card. Who is it? Wayne Cashman and Valery Karlamov. Jacques Plante. Gary Unger, Ed Westfall, Red Berenson, Phil Goyette, Jubel Perrault, Bob Sasinski, and Paul Henderson, Alexander Yakushev. Dunk Wilson, old fashioned goalie, <laughs> Bobby Clark, Steve Shutt. Gilles Meloche, wildly underrated goalie. Rick Lay. Alexander Maltsev. <laughs> Poul Poupiel. Interesting. And Harry Sinden. Next up, Don Lever. Rick McLeish. Michel Plasse, first goalie ever drafted, first overall in the NHL back in 1968. Joey Johnston, Wayne Connolly, Richard Brodeur, the king himself, Don Ari, and Pete Mavlich. Okay, and looking through the cards, the Wayne Connolly from earlier is actually a blank back. I believe this might be our third autograph in the box. Maybe four. Who knows? <laughs> I haven't opened much of this recently. Dallas Smith, Jack Eggers, Jerry Desjardins, Danny Grant, Jerry Odrovsky, or Gary, Mike Curran, Brad Park and Rosea Paymont. All right, let's move on to our possible autograph cards here. Kind of rearrange it so it's the last one. Okay, so we got Red Berenson, Frank Movlich, Ted Taylor, Bill White, Rod Gilbert, Gilbert Perrault, Serge Bernier, and okay, this is how it is. Autograph, Soviet Union of Valery Vasilyev, Soviet Union team from the old Summit series there. Interesting. Err, base verdict. Eh, it's alright. It's a Summit series is still pretty good dollars nowadays. Vasilyev isn't the strongest of the names from that Soviet team. Not a bad player though. Okay, on to our next pack. Okay, we've got Larry Lund. Alexander Yakushev, Tom Webster, Bob McMillan, Walt Kachuk, Rick Martin, Rogi Vachon, and okay, this is how it is. We have 
autograph of Terry O'Reilly. That's not too bad. He was a pretty significant name in the 70s there. Terry O'Reilly. Pretty cool. Urbay's verdict. Oh yeah, Terry O'Reilly and Bobby Orr on the same team together. Now that was a match made in heaven. Let's move on to the next, shall we? We have Alton White, Gary, Gary Pinder, Bill Hickey, or Hick, Denny Haron, Billy Smith, Battling Billy Smith, Roy Edwards, Dave Schultz, and Autograph. Okay, we have Autograph of Phil Meyer. Not bad. Goalie, pretty good name for the time. More famous for another haircut he used to have, but this one's still decent. Urbe's verdict, eh, it's all right. Phil Meyer is a decent name among goalies. He's still remembered fairly fondly today. What more can you ask for? Let's move on to our last autograph here. We have Bill White and Boris Mikhailov. Chris Bordelieu, Ron Ellis, Vic Hadfield, Bill Goldsworthy, Rod Seiling, Alex Del Vecchio, and we have autograph of Larry Lund. Larry Lund. Kind of a little smudgy autograph. And I'll be honest, I'm not too familiar with the Larry Lund, uh, with, with him at all, so I can't really say how I feel. Eh, it's all right. I don't know much about him. I haven't really heard his name before. And that's saying something because I've heard of lots of names from then to now. All right, moving on to our final memorabilia. Okay, first up, Andre Lacroix, Valerie Vasilyev, Gary Veneruzzo, Ted Hampson, JP Parise, Eddie Shack. Frank Movlich, Serge Savard, and memorabilia. Oh, sorry, this is how it is. Silver version of Billy Smith. Billy Smith, Jersey Silver. Nice two color. Would have been nice to have an autograph version. Um, I don't know what it's numbered out of. Usually they're numbered around 30 or something, the silver variations. Yeah, so, Urbe's verdict. Eh, it's all right. Good name. He doesn't really get a lot of hobby love despite being the cornerstone goaltender of the uh, Dynasty Islanders there. This was an interesting product. I had a lot of fun. I hope you enjoyed watching the video as well. Till next time, have yourself an excellent day. Bye-bye.